let's have this week's here's how and this week here's how to impress people down the pub regularly buy bags of crisps as a symbol of status amongst the other patrons making sure to pop every single bag as you open them cheer loudly for both participants of any televised sporting event this will show the other pub drinkers that you're actually very open-minded offer absolutely everyone a cigarette can't stress it enough every single person offer them all a fag if need be don't take no for an answer some people are too proud to accept the freebie but to convince them like you know if they say no to you twice you can offer to smoke one besides them if they agree to have one too in fact tell them if you smoke one i'll smoke one too do a round around the pub not a buying everyone drinks don't go for that route you don't want to buy the love you want to earn the love a lap we'll call it a lap do a lap of the pub collecting everyone's emptied glasses leave them all on uh, one of the outdoor tables outside helps keep the pub a little bit tidier Offer to watch over other people's drinks. Tell them you promise you're not going to let anybody at all. No matter who it is, I am not going to let anybody spit in that drink whilst you're away. Never use the bathroom. Obviously you'll need to relieve yourself. Booze is a, is a diuretic, but just piss in some plant pots or something. You can start yourself a little urban legend using the notice boards in supermarkets about the drinker with the expanding bladder. Learn yourself lots of jokes and assign each of them in your head to one person, each joke to each one person in the pub. Then, every time you see a person for the first time that day, tell them that rehearsed joke that you always tell them. So say you've got five people, you always tell person one joke A, always tell person two joke B, etc, etc. People might say, he always tells me the same joke every time I see him. Then people will say, me too. But how long until they realise that you've been telling all of them different jokes? Then, you're a local character. Offer to buy drinks for any of the drinkers that look a little young and they might have, you know, left that ID at home in the car. The pub can't sell alcohol to people who do look under 25 without identification, but maybe they'll be quite happy that they can now make more money and an extra sale, you know, by selling their alcohol through you as a broker buy lots of frozen mints the frosty thursday then on the friday night take it bagged up in new bags and sell it off as leftover meat from the burger factory you work at people might be more than happy to swap you a pint of lager for a kilo of cheap mints that they can take back to the wife Make well estimated guesses on how much alcohol is still in the bottles of spirit and tell people your estimations as a matter of fact. But do it so that it looks like it's on impulse. Whilst you're there already talking or as soon as they appear next to you at the bar, grab them hard in the arm and tell them frantically there's 734 centilitres in that bottle. Then act casual and just carry on making conversation. Do it like you can't help yourself. And that's the end of this week's Here's How. And guys, 